My name is Pierre. I am a French guy. I am a dreamer. My tea is like my best friend. I feel more free. Try to wake up not to be happy but to be proud of you. You're growing faster when you're traveling. Present make the future. Two yes. or three languages, you open doors. You can work, <laughs> money, go enjoy your life. I do like music. Takip eden arkadaşlar. Meşhur bir müzisyen. Okay, I say that he's a really famous musician. I'm not. I will be. <laughs> you will be. Des gens qui passent. My English, I hope I would find the good words. <laughs> it doesn't matter, we will put subtitles. Okay. Eventually. Our accent is also not good. Perfect. Not good Cheers. enough. Cheers. Cheers. What are you drinking now? Drinking mate. What's mate? Can you explain a little bit? Mate is a South American drink. Yeah. From Paraguay, Argentina, Brazil. Yeah. And it's a good drink. It's like meditation. I think now my tea is like my best friend. You like the taste? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about it? <laughs> no, it's strong. I don't know. It's like just like kind of meditation yeah. every morning mm -hmm. for the lonely people, you know. For me, it's giving you a reason to live in this life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like oh, today I will drink mate. It makes me happy. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's a purpose for me. <laughs> yeah, me too. When I woke up, especially, and I feel more focused. As yes. well with this. But the one that you are making is really tasty. Yeah, thank you. Comparing to us, you are professional. Yeah, I have exp five years five years experience. Five years? I am a master of mate. But where did you spend time in five years? Um in New Zealand. Uh-huh. Oh, they in... drink mate there also. No no no, but the thing is I've tried my first mate in New Zealand. Ah. With a guy from Argentina. Is oh my kid. god. <laughs> <laughs> Such yeah. a nice story. Yeah. And I didn't like at all. And after that, I lived in Australia, a bit in Fiji. Uh -huh. I went to Chile uh -huh. for more than one year. And after Chile, I went to last place where I lived in, is in Barcelona. In Barcelona, uh, they also drink water. Yeah, because there is an Argentinian lobby mm -hmm. in Barcelona. I didn't know that. Okay, let How me introduce long? my friend Manuel. Hola. Hola, mira, hey. sí, hola la okay. cámara. So. First of all, can you introduce yourself? What's your name and what do you do in your life? I don't know. What do you want to tell about it? My name is Pierre. I am a French guy from Brittany, the mm -hmm. best place in France. I am a dreamer, I think. I am a dreamer. I used to work as a commercial, but I really love travel and meet people. So it's what I'm seeking. New experiences, new meeting and especially refill my life. I don't know if it's correct. Yeah, I need experience. But what's the the best charming part for you? To travel? Yeah. Meeting people. Meeting people? Meeting people, yeah. No, I'm really, I feel blessed now because after five years, I mm -hmm. have a lot of friends so from different parts of the world. I have like a house in every country, <laughs> not in every country, <laughs> but I can travel That's in true. most of the world and I have someone so this part yeah and after this as well you're growing faster when you're traveling you become more rich can discover more stuff about yourself yeah what i mean sometimes you're scared so you have to fight because sometimes survive. it's not okay. easy yeah survive so yeah why? surviving i agree definitely it's not easy people think that uh, traveling is such a nice dream i agree in one point but it's not easy it doesn't mean that it's easy no it's not easy <laughs> and the thing it pisses me off a lot when the people say oh you are so lucky <laughs> <laughs> i didn't win any lottery you know it's a choice i was alone when i take the flights yeah you're alone you left your family behind let me ask you this which year did you decide to go abroad or how long you are traveling in your life? Almost 10 years, ten I'm, years I'm traveling. You've been traveling? Mm. Yeah. Wow, it's, it's, a huge time. it's a huge time. But yeah. non-stop or you went no, to France time to I time? had a break in Barcelona mm -hmm. for five years. But after that, when I decided to travel, it was more when I was younger, maybe around 18 years old. I knew, I knew <laughs> it was like my the way. <laughs> that uh -huh. I have to take and after that I try to put myself in the system uh -huh. <laughs> but after some years now uh, system what, what do you mean about system about system not like the professional life yes. or the day by day and you like a rock you don't like feel like you can't grow up anymore you know you leave the routine and, and just pay your bills okay you are 34 years old right 35 yeah 35. 35. and how many countries you live so far 
New Zealand, Australia, India, Chile, Spain, five. Five. But it's Amazing. not like you are just seeing two weeks, three weeks and leaving. It's not like More that. More than one year. More, More than, than one, one year, year you spent. Every huh? time, yeah. <laughs> so it sounds really great when you explain like oh i'm traveling these countries i lived in uh, new zealand australia it's amazing but i think uh, people wondering about how you finance yourself because you know the majority of the people thinks that they need to have money to travel okay. or they need to save money before in advance to go abroad spend time and uh, for accommodation food i mean basic expenses to transportation so in your case would you like to say something about that yeah about the people who they are they have a lot of question in their mind or oh, the fears i think like doubt kill more dreams than failure and yeah, at the beginning See. i had like thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars mm -hmm. euros euros dollars <laughs> and after that yeah, with the visa you can mm -hmm. find work Yeah. Depends on the country. I think it all depends on you. When you speak two yes. or three languages, yeah. it's like you open doors. It's really easy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can work without any visa. <laughs> Money! <laughs> When we are talking about the languages, he is speaking Spanish very well. So how did you learn? You speak French, obviously, uh, English very well, and uh, very Spanish bad. very well. No, very bad. No, very, very, very well. <laughs> My bloody French accent, mate. <laughs> uh, so you have three different languages. Or more. No, three language. Three language. But about Spanish is the last one. I learned in Ch in Chile. In Chile. During five months, without any words, huh? just listening, and that's it. Wow. wow. And watching movies with the yes. subtitles in Spanish, I felt I felt alone, to be honest, mm. because it's kind of frustrating as well when you want to talk, but you don't have the vocabulary to explain yourself. Same I, for us. <laughs> I'm a bit curious about your family and friends from France. Okay. Yeah. What are they telling you about your travel? They have for me the only thing important for them is my happiness mm -hmm. I feel good mm -hmm. and they told me okay you have to live your life mm -hmm. that's it nice they nice. all support it huh? yeah in generally in your country uh, what is the view for travelers backpackers travelers I know that in Europe many people likes to travel yeah yeah, yeah. it's very common It's really common, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe some people can judge you because, for example, I, I have 35 years old, I don't have any credit, any house, any kids. Maybe they can judge about this. People, you know, they would like to travel, but they can't because they fear about mm -hmm. this. You're also a music producer? Or artist. I do like music. What kind of music you are making? <laughs> I'm making He's famous, man. Yeah. He has how many listeners in Turkey? I do like rap music, chill rap music, kind of lo-fi. You play in lo-fi on YouTube, right? Yeah, and yeah. Spotify, Apple Music, these are go check. Follow me, listen, Neruda. You have also listeners from Turkey as well. Yeah. And many of them from Istanbul, Ankara and Izmir. Istanbul, Antalya, Ankara. 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 216 people like this. Thank I like race. your music. Thank you, guys. Thank you for sharing with us, by You're the way. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. We will put his music to our video, so please keep watching us. Now Thank let's you. listen a little bit your music. I see people who pass. Dans les transports communs, je vois des gens qui se tassent Par quoi hors du commun, il y a des gens qui se cassent Depuis petit, je vois les mêmes têtes, les mêmes pères qui se fâchent Les mêmes fraises, la villageoises qui tâche Le ciel gris qui crache Un genre idéal Je mets les doigts sous la table et mes pieds dans leur fille L'ennui m'accable, un élan vital obsédé par la fuite Plus Sylvain Tesson que Tesson de bouteille Comme petit ourson, je m'endors sur du bouting à ma place comme bébé dans poubelle si on me tue mon fantôme peut de coupe so let's continue would you like to say more about music About music, okay. go listen to Neruda, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> What inspires you when you are creating your music? Where do you prefer to create your music or which moment it comes to you? That's a good question. I don't have any moments. Most of the time it's like start from the beat. I feel something like an emotions. I have like an image and after just like I write what I have in my mind and inspiration it's life. Are you also mm. reading the lyrics, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you are singing. Yeah. Takip eden arkadaşlar. <gülüyor> Çok güzel müzikler yapıyor ve meşhur bir müzisyen. Okay, I say the he's a really famous musician. <gülüyor> I'm not. I will be. <gülüyor> you will be. Yeah. Definitely you will be. If you believe yeah. yeah. I hope so. 
So, which is your favorite country so far? To live. To travel and to live. I think I will say New Zealand because it was the first travel. The people are amazing and it's full of opportunity. Yeah. For example, I arrived. My English was really basic, but with this, the, the people can give you the opportunity to work, for example. And then you improve your English as well. Yeah. So New Zealand is your favorite so far. About nature. Amazing, Amazing. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we could go. <laughs> but uh, one after day. that, I want to say Chile as well. New Zealand it was like a trip to see beautiful landscape, yeah. meet people. Chile was more like a travel to discover myself with the problem and yes. as well I see the difference in Europe and South America in Europe uh -huh. you live in South America you survive and in South America totally different for me I found like the people the travelers in South America more deep seeking another way of life you know they want other purpose we can talk about your volunteering life as well how did you decide to do because Romina is a good friend uh -huh. of one of my friends Romina is a wife of Marcel. Marcel who is owner here or managing here yeah, let's exactly say. Yeah. and so I have one of my best friends who is living in Santa Teresita and it's for me if you're going to the south I have one of my best friend is living there ah, that's and how you came here yeah exactly how many days it's been almost one month now how is your experience so far here did My, you like this place yeah it's a beautiful place it's a paradise <laughs> indeed I have a lot of respect and admiration for Marcel as well because I learned a lot with him. It's insane. Okay. He gives me energy, more reason to believe in my dream and follow this. I love him so much. Yeah, yeah I me agree. Too. We are lucky to be here actually. To meeting with these beautiful people, meeting with you. We feel really happy to sharing all the moments, all the days with all you. the room. And the room we share <laughs> also. And uh, after here, uh, what's your plan? I'm going to Chile. Yeah. When are you going? I take my bus 1st of December and I will arrive in Santiago the 2nd of December. Uh -huh. What are you going to do there? Live. <laughs> Live. <laughs> uh, do you have any place to do volunteering or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We arrive in the hostel uh -huh. at the beginning and after that... Volunteering. First two weeks volunteering. Yeah. And then you'll see what's going on. Yeah. Uh, one more question. I'm curious about it. When we travel in a long term, not short term, for example, like you, uh, years, uh, we feel sometimes we really miss our families, our friends in our country. So do you feel something like that time to time? Almost I can't hope? say I miss them because that's a paradox. I feel more close, far away. <laughs> nice and I get in touch with my family one mm -hmm. time per week we are really close especially with my mom I prefer this kind of because when I, I stay close to them it's like I'm scared sometimes you know with the people you love you're thinking about stuff like I don't know time is flying you have fears and when I'm traveling I don't have anymore this kind of fear nice point I feel more free in my mind yeah but the life you're right I am so agree with the idea that when you are really far away from them, you feel more close. Yeah. For me, it's safe. When I live there, next to them, I don't know, I didn't feel safe, you know. But now it makes more sense for me. Having a family, having a friends. I don't know, I think I kind of understood the meaning of having them in my life, yeah. in the journey. It's more quality time as well, because we have something to tell to them. Yeah and to share yeah exactly do you have any plan to turn back again i don't think so yeah make <laughs> make tube make tube <laughs> make tube i don't try to think about the future nice because i think the present make the future sometimes do you feel stressful or the anxiety comes to you i need to make plans yeah of like course that. i'm just focused on the the thing that i have control so I have control about my emotions, so yeah. exercise, writing, meditation, stay with good people. But of course, sometimes I yeah. have fears. It's normal. Normal. I feel like fears make you move. You take action. It's really nice, man. The life that you are living, I'm sure that many people who will watch this video admire you. The way you think, your vision, the path that you are walking. It's really nice. Yeah, it sounds uh, amazing. Uh, we meet with people on the road, some of them really special for us. And I believe that's because we share the same spirit it's or about, emotions. Yeah, it's chemistry. Frequency. Yeah. Energy. Frequency. Energy. Yeah, that's, I don't like energy. Frequency, frequency is the good is, word. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> and you are one of them for now, uh, uh, for us now. Thank you guys. <laughs> you are special for me as well. I learned with you guys to be honest yeah. because before I felt like 
not alone but sometimes I get bored with people because yeah. they're not superficial but it's hard to to share something be honest since nine years I have the, the same question every time the thing I learned and I lost a bit I find with you again is the sharing nice yeah thank you and I think I will make in practice this sharing more with people Good. so thank you guys for this we also say thank also you thank to you, you to sharing everything with us I believe it's a learning process. Life is in progress. Never finish till uh, you die. I believe yeah. in that way. When we get more older, older like 50, 60, doesn't matter. We need to have this patience always inside of us for me because this is how we feel the happiness or peace in our life. Yeah. We are all learning. I've learned to maybe share more, to be more patient in this journey. So I really recommend people who is watching, if you have a dream to see abroad, they should definitely start from one point. Yeah, you have to follow you your to say, personal agent and try to wake up not to be happy, but to be proud of you. Proud of you. Yeah. Maybe we'll see each other again. I, hope I so. believe. Yeah. yeah, I hope so. You've been in Turkey. Yeah, but as a tourist, when I was a kid, yeah. like yeah. 11 years old, I learned a nice words, full of love, or <laughs> 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 They have my tip. <laughs> mm, it's done. Yeah, you drink it. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Remember one okay, thing, you're not eternal, one day you will die, so enjoy your life, that's it. Thank you so much Thank for, you so sharing much for sharing this moment You're with welcome us. guys, it was a pleasure. I'm so sure that many people will uh, admire from here. It's the first time that first I do time. that. If we continue to talk, we, we can talk hours and hours, I yeah, know, yeah, yeah. from many stuff. Like every day. We are telling each other stories. And we share always our experience, you know, from our country or from our journey. And this is really nice moment because I always know that I can trust you because you feel like me and I feel like you. There is yeah. a no wall between us. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I say always that. So this is really important for me. I feel it. I feel yeah. it in myself. Yeah. Bros. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bromos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy and follow these two amazing guys during the, their trip. And yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you man. Thank you so much. Arkadaşlar much. videomuzu beğendiyseniz lütfen beğen butonuna tıklayın. Bizleri takipte kalın. Kanalımıza da abone olursanız çok mutlu oluruz. Herkese kucak dolusu sevgiler. Hoşça kalın. Kendinize iyi bakın. Hoşça kalın. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao. Adios. <gülüyor>